All right, this will be a quick video. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize. I did not get a video of my Falcon Wild Peaks before I got rid of them. I will say, though, that I did measure them. They were down to 3.30 seconds. Uh, they were still wearing evenly, still wearing well. Um, they got a little noisier, but nothing bad. Nothing like some AT tires I've had, um, like the good years I had before those. Uh, they had some significant chunking, but with that little amount of tread depth on there, I'm not going to sweat it and, and say that that's a problem. There's just no flex in the rubber. Um, a good example is like these. They're new, and they flex. You know, they're, it's soft. So it's being pliable. It can deflect those rocks and things like that a little easier. That said, what I went with is the same size. These are Toyo Open Country AT3s, not the 2s. And I kind of hosed them off because in true upper Midwest fashion, we've already had 7 inches of snow. So it's finally melting and I can get a review in here. I've got about 300 miles on them so far. Um, and so far, they're a great tire. Um, they handled excellent in the snow. Uh, you can see, like I said, I got about 300 miles. These are the fronts. This is the right front. I still have some of the molding. I can't even think of what I'm, I'm drawing a blank on what I would even call those. And I still even have them on the back. They're worn down a little bit more, but you can still see them there. You still have them all over in there. There's still a few in there. Not as much in here, uh, just because of the, you know, rear wheel drive. You're going to wear them off a little bit faster. Um... I'm also going to measure the tread depth because there is a there was some discrepancy and discussion on the Falcons. The Falcons I got were 12 30 seconds tread depth. They were a P metric tire. The LT tires come in I think it was either 14 or 16 30 seconds. I can't recall. These are also P metric tires and they're 13 30 seconds. And I'll just pop it in here real quick and show you. There's 13, 30 seconds. And I can go to every tire and measure them, but they're all, I just got done. They're all the same. Um, like I said, so far, they're an excellent tire. I really like them. They are not, there's a, a few, I, I can't even call them complaints, really. But there's a few things that I don't like that I liked over the Falcons. Uh, first of all, it was actually pretty difficult for me not to just put the Falcons on again because they were such an excellent tire. I got 48,000 miles out of those tires on dirt roads and towing and you name it, those tires did it. And if you're looking for an inexpensive tire that's going to last you a very long time, give you outstanding tread wear, outstanding traction, definitely go with the Falcon Wild Peaks. You will never be disappointed. That said... I like to try a few things and, and try different tires and things like that. These are rated for, I believe, 50,000 miles. What is the tread wear right there? 600 is the tread wear. The Falcons were actually higher on tread wear. So we'll see how they go. I typically get 40 to 50,000 out of a set of tires. It really does not matter out here uh, just because of the types of roads and things like that. Um, I like the design of the tire. They aren't overly aggressive. Let's go here. I turn this one out so you can see it. They aren't overly aggressive. They're a nice AT tire that works well on dirt roads. So far works well in the snow and they handle well. They are a little noisier than the Falcons, which kind of surprised me. You get a little bit of that hum, but it's not intrusive. It's not enough to say I'm not gonna buy the tire. Um, it's, it's there. That's about the only thing I can say with it. Um, kind of going into the tread. There are tons of tire reviews on these tires. I'm not going to rehash the same thing over and over. Um, I will say one thing I noticed that was kind of interesting. You have a, I don't even know what to call that a stone ejector. It's not a tread depth indicator because this is at 430 seconds. You also have a tread, this is more of your tread depth. These are 230 seconds here. So this must be just kind of a, a stone ejector something. And you can tell here it looks like they kind of did something along those lines. Um, if I have one complaint on the tire, and it's going to be hard to see because they're kind of muddy, they aren't as aggressive looking as the Falcons were. You do have some design elements here, but they don't protrude. They don't stick out. They don't really add to the aggressiveness of the tire. They do make a uh, white letter tire, which I, in hindsight, probably should have gone with to kind of break it up. Because they're just it's, it's too much tire without something breaking up the the rubber in a sense um the other thing i've noticed dimensionally 
these tires are exactly the same as the Falcon. Same section width, same height, same everything. The only thing is they look narrower. The Falcons looked a little wider. One thing I will say too is that when I turn the wheel, these tires respond better. They're, they respond faster. I, there's not as much steering effort needed to turn the, the wheel as there was with the Falcons, but they just don't look as aggressive. So if you want, you know, so far, like I said, these are a great tire. I do 6,000 mile rotations. I'm going to do videos on these every single time I do one. Um, last year I missed a few. <laughs> that was my fault. Uh, but this year I'll get every 6,000 miles I'll do a rotation and I'll do updates. I used to do updates just on the right front and the right rear. I'm going to do it on all four of them because I did notice my right side was wearing differently than my left side. And then I began cross rotating. Um, so what I'm going to do is every other rotation will be a cross rotation. Just to, to hopefully keep that tread wear the same all around. So that is my initial impression on the Toyo Open Country AT3.